In this video, uh, we'll discuss about the concept of fluid flow at high velocity. There are few terminologies uh, we need to understand, and then we uh, here I will try to uh, detail a bit about the the the, the process uh, thermodynamic thermodynamic process involved in in this kind of flow. Okay, um, uh, during the discussion of high uh, compressible, uh, compressible uh, high velocity of compressible uh, flow, we will assume the gas behave uh, following the ideal gas. Okay, uh, you might argue that uh, at very high pressure, uh, the, the, the gas won't uh, follow the, the equation of state, uh, but uh, in the reality, actually, uh, uh, what the concept you have learned here is not really uh, commonly applied, but uh, understanding the concept well can give us uh, uh, some kind of uh, um, hunch, uh, some, some kind of feeling of how actually uh, the uh, high velocity gas uh, behave. So, I'll recall back some of the concepts you have learned uh, in uh, uh, thermodynamics. So, we know that gas can be compressed due to the molecular arrangement. Uh, gas is defined as when you have a molec 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 molecule that arranged uh, a little bit far away from each other. So, it allows us to actually compress and expand the gas. When we compress, the gas basically it means that we try to push them so that the relative distance is be become smaller when we expand it uh, we 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 allow some space so that the relative distance between gases uh, become become uh, further so uh, when flowing at high velocity uh, remember that the properties of gas changes and uh, the relationship between uh, one condition to another condition can be uh, can be uh, predicted using the equation of state here. Uh, so uh, I I mention again that at very high velocity, uh, the when flow at very very high velocity, the gas temperature goes down, uh, so that uh, the condition uh, from one state to another state will will try to to relate uh, using the equation of state. Here I put down the equation PV, uh, the famous one, equal to nRT. And if you insert the definition of the mole, mole, mole here and then the density, we can uh, simplify the equation into this form. <coughs> Another relationship of the ideal gas is the heat capacities. Okay, we know that. Uh, Cp defined as delta H uh, divided by delta T and Cv is uh, delta U divided by delta T and then we have a relationship of below uh, <coughs> so enthalpy here equal to uh, internal energy plus uh, force and we develop the relationship uh, between Cp and Cv and then by defining K uh, is the ratio of uh, heat capacity at constant pressure to the heat capacity at constant volume, uh, we can uh, der uh, derive uh, following expression. This expression is very important to be used when we uh, derive the equation uh, later on. So here I list down the definition of the term here, P stands for pressure, V volume, T temperature, M is the molar mass of the gas molecule, rho is density, H enthalpy, U internal energy, Cp is specific heat, specific heat at constant fall, uh, pressure, and Cv is specific heat at uh, control volume. So <clears throat> I want to highlight uh, the importance of use R here. In another book, uh, the uh, universal gas constant or the CV will be uh, defined uh, di di differently. Okay, uh, 
I, I'll uh, to, to be able to follow the lecture in in my videos. Uh, we, we need to stick to this term using universal gas constant that involving M, uh, the, the molecular mass. Uh, why it is so? Because all of the equation that we will use in the next uh, subject uh, will refer to this definition. Okay, next. Um, uh, remember that uh, we are covering the flow at very high velocity and then under this condition it is uh, uh, common to use a speed of sound as one of the parameters. So what is the speed of sound? So uh, first of all it is a properties of material. Uh, uh, it is defined as a speed at which a small pressure disturbance uh, moves through a continuous medium. So in this <coughs> Uh, illustration you see that uh, uh, you see the uh, speed of sound at uh, three different uh, materials the first one is air you see here the second one is water and the third one is the steel so imagine when uh, you try to apply pressure on this end okay so the pressure will move from this end to the another end through a distance and you see here that the pressure move like a wave okay Okay, the same thing also happen when you do it in water, so the pressure also move along the distance uh, in a form of wave. Uh, uh, also the same <coughs> thing when, when you apply uh, the treatment to the steel. If you look into the three materials, um, you will find that the wavelength of the, the, the flow uh, is, is different. So, uh, you see a steel has a very uh, long wavelength, meaning that uh, in steel, the sound moves much faster. Uh, in water, medium wavelength, so you can see that this is less than the steel. And then in air, it's, it's, it's the wavelength is uh, so far uh, smaller than in the steel. So, in this three illustration, the speed of sound is lowest uh, when, when, when it uh, moves uh, through, the, through the air. So we, we then use the same concept uh, to derive the equation to find out speed of sound. So to be easily uh, visualize what it means is, so imagine you have a fluid inside a, a conduit here. So then you try to impulse a pressure in this. When you pulse a pressure, the pressure will move along the pipeline. And basically the speed of the movement of the pressure along the line is uh, the one uh, represent the speed of sound. So how can we quantify this phenomenon? <coughs> so if you assign uh, a position one here and a position two here before and after uh, the, 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 the movement of the, of the pressure, uh, we can solve uh, the mass and momentum balance and end up with this equation uh, where C is actually speed of sound. Speed of sound is uh, square root of uh, pressure divided by density. Uh, and then uh, this uh, terminology is applicable at constant uh, entropy or we call it eccentropic. And now we just insert the definition of the density and uh, the, the pressure and the density from the equation of state we then end up with uh, this equation uh, that define what is the speed of sound. So it is, if you look closely into the equation, uh, it is defined by the, the by the material itself from the M here, and then K, it is uh, the characteristic of the material. K is a specific heat ratio, uh, uh, and it is also uh, defined by the temperature. Okay, the temperature here. Uh, in another equation, you see that K here represents the materials. Uh, P is the pressure, the condition of, of it, and the density is also the condition of the materials and also the material itself. Um, uh, what is K? K is, uh, as we defined before, it is a specific heat ratio, uh, Cp divided by Cv. And then in this table, it lists, uh, it lists the, the value of K for different materials. For monoatomic gases like helium, argon, and neon, and so on, you have a K, K value of 1.67.
for diatomic gases like nitrogen gas, uh, oxygen gas, CO, it has 1.4, and so on, and so on. Okay, try to uh, make sense of the equation. Uh, here is actually, so this equation is, is the same. So if you are given uh, the condition where you know the pressure and the density, you can use this, this equation. And in another condition, maybe when you're given the temperature, you can use this equation. Okay, next, another important terminology is mesh number. So what is mesh number? A uh, mesh number is defined as the ratio of velocity of the fluid or an object in a steel fluid to the local speed of sound, C, as we defined before. So this definition can then be written mathematically into MA here. MA is the mesh number equal to V, the velocity, and C, speed of sound. Based on this definition, we know that mesh number has no unit. Uh, another terminology is that uh, when a mesh, mesh number is less than one, we call the flow is subsonic. When the mesh number is above one, we call it the supersonic flow. So you, you now know that what does it mean by supersonic uh, aircraft? So the aircraft that can move uh, uh, at a velocity more than the speed of sound, that is supersonic flow. And special when the mesh number is exactly equal to one, we call it a sonic flow. And then this condition is uh, signed with this star here. It's called as a critical condition. So we will uh, use a lot the concept of critical condition in the preceding uh, videos. So uh, this is some of the illustration. Uh, uh, so here we have a subsonic aircraft when the velocity is actually less than the speed of sound An example is a Boeing 747 but you can have a Concorde uh, that can uh, fly at a mesh number equal to 2 so we call this a supersonic aircraft another thing is that mesh number is a function of temperature of course because mesh, mesh number is derived from the, the, the speed of sound see we know that speed of sound is a function of temperature a function of pressure and function a function of density of the materials.